Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Crafting with Rhonda MC. I wanted to share with you all um, a journal that I just started making. I am trying to lose weight, so I thought maybe I would keep a journal, all to keep a record, you know, of my journey and how things are going. All right, well, let me show you what all I have, and then we'll get into the album, and I'll show you some of the pages that I've done. Um, first off, I went on Amazon, and I found this um, journal. It's a dotted page journal, and this is what the inside looks like. It has the little small uh, grids, so it helps you, you know, to um, put things in place. So I purchased that off of Amazon. All right. Then I also, um, I purchased some of these Ranger Archival inks. These are really nice. Um, they're acid-free, and they're permanent, and they're waterproof. And they work really good in, in my album. And these are just the colors that I want to stick with. I'm trying to stick with a black and white theme in my album. So I'm mostly using um, this black Archival ink. But I also, um, I brought the case. I found um, the case. I believe I got my inks and my case. I bought those from um, scrapbook.com. I'll leave a link in the description below for you all. Um, but I'm trying to keep, you know, everything together nice and neat. So um, I've got what inks I have in here for my journaling. And then I bought a really nice uh, Sharpie pen a while back I shared with you all. And I used that in my album. Um, I have a pair of scissors here because I'm also I use washi tape in my album and like I said black and white theme I have this washi tape so that's that and I just recently uh, purchased this from Amazon black and white washi tape as well now um, some of the other things that I keep in here I keep a tape runner in to put my photos down um, I use my selfie printer, which I did a video not too long ago, and I'll leave a link in uh, the description below for that if you want to go back and watch the video on my selfie printer that my husband gave me for Christmas. I love it. it I mean, it just it prints really, really nice pictures. Um, now, let's see. What else I have in here? Also, I have like some encouragement um, stamps and... Uh, a bunch of um, stickers and things too that I wanted to share with you all I may have already showed on my haul but um, these are some that are just you know good vibes only uh, let go of the regrets be mindful do what's good for the soul things that are encouraging I want to stamp these in my album along with my pictures um, I shared this not too long ago on one of my Michaels haul they had a lot of stuff off 50% off. I haven't used this one yet, but um, I definitely will. It has the months, and then it has like a little calendar that you can use, and with the days of the weeks. So, that. Um, and then this one I shared with you all. It's the, um, the number set, um, and it's made by, um, let's see, I, I called it something else. It's Illustrated Illustrated Faith is the name of it, and this I had shared in one of my hauls from Tuesday mornings, and uh, along with this one, this is an alphabet set, and it's made by Hero Arts, and this one came with the die, um, and then this is a step stamp set that I purchased, um, I believe it was scrapbook.com, and this is um, made by Spellbinders. But, you know, a lot of these I can use in my album. Um, can you believe this? You know, memories are delightful little things. Just some of these different ones in here I thought would be nice in my album. And then this one I shared with you guys the other day. Got from um, Tuesday Mornings, and it's made by Jelly Bean. All right. And then, along with... The stamps, I also, um, I found these stencils, and they were online on Amazon, and there's a bunch of different ones that you can use, like, to draw different things on your album. Now, I started out with these. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use these. Um, here and there, I may use them, but I really do like using the stamps inside my album, and now that I have, um, you know, the letters and the number stamps, 
those will look a lot neater because my handwriting is not the best. So those I have. Um, then I also, I found these stickers. Um, they were on Amazon and a lot of them are really encouraging. It says work that hustle. Always do what you were afraid to do. A lot of these are just words of encouragement. So um, I thought I would use these in my album. And these, like I said, these are all stickers. At first, when I went online, I thought they were um, stamp sets, but when it came in the mail, it's stickers, but still, I'll use them. Um, this is a sticker set that I purchased at um, the Dollar Tree, but there were some black and white ones in here. Like I said, my theme I'm going with, and I may put, you know, a few color things in here and there, but I got this um, at the Dollar Tree, and I have seen them. They still have those. Um, and then this sticker album I found at Ross and it has um, a lot of nice stickers in here and there are some words of encouragement in here as well. Um, this is another month set, uh, stamp set and I'll show you guys how I started to use that. Oh, here's another one of the stencils. But um, one of my friends gave me this uh, case. It's made by Recollection. get it in the screen but you know I keep everything in here all nice and neat and together so all right so that is um, the stickers and the stamp sets that I'm using in my album and then the inks I showed you all that in the tape all right so let me show you um, a few of the pages that I've done um, my weight that I am well that I was when I started my journey is in my album, but you know, I'm striving to do better and everybody can see it. It's, it is what it is, right? So this is going to be the inside of my album. This is my first opening page. And, um, my friend and I, we decided we were going to do this journey together. So I'm not sure if she started an album yet or not, but we sat down and we decided what we wanted um, to, you know, our goals to be and a set a date and how much weight we wanted to lose by when. But this is my opening page and it says January 2021. And I had a little stamp that I used. It says just start, meaning just do it. So, and that's the date when we started, uh, December the 31st of 20. And then I've got weighed in at 216 today this is the start of my weight loss journey and then this is one of the little stickers be your own sunshine but I took um, my girlfriend took pictures of me you know sideways forward and I can already see a transformation all right and then here is um, another page that I did um, this is when I started and it's you know I'm trying to drink lots of water um, my daughter gave me um, a Fitbit. I'm wearing my Fitbit. Um, I'm keeping a record of all what I, my calories and what I eat. I'm using, it's called um, Neutronics Track. It's an app I'm using on my, um, it's, my phone is a Samsung. So I believe, I'm not sure if it's available on um, iPhone, but I know, you know, on the Droid, you can get this. Um, I took a picture of my weighing scales, but um, it says, you got this. <laughs> um, and I went back, um, all these pictures um, I've printed out on my selfie, and, you know, you can do the little grids and different things. And I used, um, I believe it's called um, Fonto, and I put my words on my image. And you can do them all different colors, different ways. You set it up. But um, that's how I put that there on that. On that, and it says goal to lose 50 pounds by May 31st of 2021. Um, 930 calories a day. Walk five days a week. Drink 34 to 67 ounces of water. Um, I know I have 930 calories. I know that is like really low, and a lot of the times that is just kind of what I have. Um, to keep me in check. Um, my deficit is like 1,300 calories a day. So, you know, I'm staying in range. But this just gives me a number. I don't know if anybody is like, like me or not. But I just, I don't know. I just feel like I do better if I'm seeing this number. <laughs> 
All right, and on this page, I started the beginning date and the end for each month. Um, I've put in January what I started out at, and at the end of January, this is what I weighed. And this is for February. That's when I started. And as you'll see, I need to put in um, February's date. So I'll go back, I mean, uh, February's weight. I'll go back into my app and I'll see where I've posted my weight. Because I post my weight daily and I can um, put the weight in for February. But positive vibes only. That's one of my stickers that came out of, um, I believe that came out of the big album that I got at Ross. Okay, and then here's another page. This says, um, never give up. And yay, January the 24th, 2021. Um, I had lost 10 pounds. And my, um, my app on my phone for my Fitbit, this came up. And I was really excited. I was like, yeah. So, and then I took a picture on the scales. And then I've got my weight on the scales where I've lost. Um, I've done a page where it says, you've got this. That's a sticker. Um, that was in, I believe, the Dollar Tree um, sticker book or planner pages. Um, then, again, the big February, the big stamp that I used. And these are some of the foods I'm eating, eating all, the, all things good. Um... That was, I believe, um, chicken and a baked sweet potato. And I used like a very little um, butter, some broccoli with a little bit of um, hollandaise sauce on it. And measuring everything out, weighing stuff. Oh, and this is one of my favorite lunches. Um, I do, it's a um, pita that I get from um, Aldi's. It's a wheat and flax seed. A whole one is 60 calories, but I cut it in half because a half is just an, is enough. And that's only 30 calories for the half of the pita. And I buy the um, Southwestern mix that they have in a bag. And I put that with a little bit of turkey in there. Um, I think I have did like three, three slices of turkey breast. And um, put that in there. Oh my gosh, it is so good for uh, for lunch. And I'm, I feel full throughout the day. Um, I went online and I found an image where, you know, I'm doing my measurements. My mom will come over. I'll get her to take my measurements for me. Um, more encouraging stickers. Then I have a picture of the green smoothie I've been drinking. Um, I drink these occasionally. I find that after I get done... Um, drinking it i'm still hungry um but i'm putting spinach apple cucumber almond milk um almonds i put uh whey protein powder in it and flaxseed if you guys have any suggestions something that i might try leave it in the comments below for me um because i would be willing to try something else too like i said sometimes this still i'm still hungry after i have it um, there's another little sticker, and then again, woohoo, 15 pounds down, and I stuck a sticker in there, and this is from the, um, that's the one from the big album from Ross, some more little stickers, and then I used my stamp set, and this was my weight on the 11th that I took, and I've been eating scallops, oh my gosh, scallops are so good, and, um, they're not very fattening, so <laughs> that's one of my that's one of my favorites is um, the scallops, scallops and chicken. <laughs> all right, and that is all that I have done in my album so far. And um, today I may go in here and add a few more pages. I have some more images. Um, I've been trying to intermittent fast um, every few days, and I have been walking. Um, I think it's like a mile and a half. My friend and I, we had um, tracked it in the car. <laughs> we rode it just to see. And I think it's like a mile and a half. So I try to do that, get out and walk. I've been walking the dogs more. They really enjoy it too. I know um, walking the dogs isn't considered exercise because you can't keep your heart rate up. So I'll take them for a little walk and then I'll come back, bring them in. And then I go back and I do my walk. <laughs> so, 
All right, you guys. Well, I just wanted to share this um, album with you. You can do a, you know, you could do a little mini journal album like this for pretty much anything. I've even thought about doing one, you know, just family to put family pictures in and stuff. But I am enjoying this, and it's like it's keeping me motivated to. Um, stay on my weight loss journey and something that I can go back and look at and say, okay, this is how far you've come, you know? So I hope everyone enjoyed this share. And if you have any ideas or comments that you think, you know, that might help me out or that you've done, um, please leave them for me because I love hearing from you all. And, um, thank you for being here and, um, visiting my channel. Ooh, I'm getting emotional. All right, you guys. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. Have a blessed day.